Hello, this is Simon from Castle Village Miniature Painting Studio and today I will have the almost unholy pleasure to present you this huge, garish, super clean and totally amazing Army Art Studio just finished painting. And as you can see, there's a hint in the table, those will be the Emperor's children. This is the day I was looking forward to do for some time now, as the Emperor's children are my favorite uh, faction in the 40k universe and I collect them myself, so uh, without further ado, let's round up those pretty boys before we get into the sweet details. Today we're going to see 30 Chaos Cultist, led by Cultist Champion with magnetized weapon options, 2 10 man Noise Mind Squads, each with 2 Blast Masters, Icon of Excess and Noise Champion, uh, one squad is made of old scouts, the other of the new ones, Eight Havocs, armed with Reaper Chain Cannons and Last Cannons. Two Aspiring Champions, uh, each with Plasma Gun and uh, Power Sword. Special Edition Noise Marines, uh, one painted as uh, on the box, the other in the reverse scheme. Old Forge Ward Sonic Dreadnought, converted with Herbert Hammer and Magnetized Weapon Options. A Lord Commander Eidolon of the Emperor's Children from Forge World, converted with Multimelter. And Fulgrim, Primark of the Emperor's Children from Forge World. Most of the army was painted on champion quality, with the exception of Noise Champions, Special Edition Noise Marines, Aspiring Champions, Sonic Hellbrot, Eidolon and Fulgrim. Uh, along with the painting, we also magnetized and converted several things, as well as painted the freehand, which we will cover later. So, let's start with some cultists. As you can see, there are so many of them that uh, it's really hard to squeeze them all in one, uh, in one shot. Mm, those are both classic cultist sculpts. Uh, let me get the focus. And okay, converted with some extra bits, and we also have some Blackstone Fortress Traitor Guardsmen included, as well as the Champion, which I will show you in a minute. Just let me get you some of the uh, most interesting miniatures in here. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, some uh, Calder gang from Necromando Bits as well. I think they are pretty uh, fitting for the cultists. Mm, the scheme is uh, somewhat a combination of the original Emperor's Children Legion scheme along with the current uh, Slanashi Pink scheme with some blacks and some drabs and all of that colors. Mm, okay, uh, this one has a whip. As you can see, we also have some... So yeah, so maybe sh I will show you now some of the Blacks and Fortress ones. Pretty nice execution of the, of the scheme. Uh, those are all painted on our second quality champion so everything is base colored highlighted with an airbrush shaded and highlighted pretty amazing result uh, I mean even for uh, such cultist level one will be sufficient but it's nice to see uh, such a large horde there's a uh, 30 of models painted up to the standard and yeah let's go to the champion you can see all the other on the photo shoot that will be published so this is the champion and she's based on a um, blackstone fortress escalation uh, box if i'm not wrong as you can see she already has those strange looking weapons she normally wouldn't have and this would be the shotgun and a cultist knife from the uh, neophyte hybrid i believe so let me swap those weapons for you really fast 
and she will have a classic setup from the escalation which is chainsaw and a bolt pistol let me get the focus okay now we have it she's also painted on champion quality perfect model for this kind of job if I say so so let me change the setup a little because I need to show you the uh, noise marines right now and for that I need to take away those cartists and uh, prepare some space because we have some uh, around 20 models to show you in a minute this is the uh, first 10-man noise marine squad uh, models are built from the older sculpts which are no longer available uh, along with the um, GW's uh, resin upgrade kit pretty outdated if I say so but that's all we astonishes have right now so uh, let me show you those miniatures let's start with this humble noise marine here uh, all of the uh, miniatures in this squad along with the newer sculpts have these special, I'm not, I'm sure you can see this, uh, special shapeways uh, Emperor's Children symbols. Some of them also have some Stonashi icons on the shoulder pads. And as you can see, we swapped um, helmets. Like in this, um, in this example, you can see old type of armor with new type of head, and they blend just excellent i mean there is really uh it would be really hard to tell for someone who doesn't know the uh case space man so well uh, to tell if this head is from another uh another set let me show you this one for example pretty classic beautiful fleshy pink black elements some trophies yeah i really miss those little trophy racks and uh, the new and uh, case space mine set doesn't have them okay so let me show you another another one maybe pretty classic pretty amazing snow bases uh, allow the colors to pop out more because they are not taking so much attention from the model itself and he's just pure perfection <laughs> if I say so uh, so let's go to the Blast Masters before I show you the champion yes this is also another example of using the newer head on a older torso look at this and most prominent uh, feature on those miniatures is that they are so goddamn clean. I mean, this is chaos, right? So you could expect that they would have some rust or some scratches or some oil marks wear on the armor. But those, they look like they just came out of the factory, which is amazing. Uh, let's go to the Blastmaster with the Icon of Excess. Excess, maybe? Access? No, Access, no. Icon of Excess. With some. You see the, this strange head from the Noise Marine upgrade pack? Yeah, those are not the strangest. <laughs> I'm gonna show you my favorite in a minute. And Icon was <coughs> pinned in the backpack, which is uh, most of the obvious choices. I'm sure your players use the same solution when fielding uh, icons on your uh, Space Marines. Uh, which one should I show you right now? Okay, this one maybe. Yeah, maybe this one before we jump to the champion. And again, pure perfection. So, <coughs> they are led by a champion, 
Champion uh, is painted on our Overlord quality, which is a level above the standard Nice Marines. He's having a Song Blaster and a, a Doom Siren, as well as extra bits and special, uh, really ugly, to be honest, helmet from the Nice Marine upgrade pack. But he receives some special extra love in terms of extra highlights on the armor itself and he's just ready to make some noise along with these boys okay so let me change the setup for the uh, 2019 sculpts and we will be back with you in a minute okay so uh, now we see the second noise marine squad this time made from the newer uh, space marine sculpts along with those all then outdated mm, resin kits but what can one do when GW is denying us the thousand zones or dev guard treatment I, I think we have to just wait uh, as you can see we mounted some older uh, helmets on the new bodies they blend pretty amazingly uh, in the same fashion as the newer heads blend with the older armors as you can see those are here the special shapeway symbol which are printed and then glued on the shoulder pad and yeah i promised you the weirdest head in the setup and this is the guy with some cables coming in his eye sockets <laughs> he's not the most beautiful one but I'm sure he did it to did it to seek perfection. Some horrid, some horrid uh, example of excess. Okay, so let's go with this one. Again, old old head, new body, blend so nicely. And as a, and again, clean. Plates of armor, flesh pink, some black to uh, stand out elements from the pink that's grabbing almost all the attention. Uh, okay, let me show you maybe the Ryan guy. Yeah, <laughs> one of the most dy dynamic sculpts in there. Okay, yeah, and he is just great. Probably pointing some loyalist, loyalist dogs with his sonic blaster. I think I'm gonna end up showing you all of those miniatures because they are quite good. One thing yeah, I would like to note uh, if you are going to do similar as we did here, uh, which is blend the new scalp with the old uh, upgrade kits, there is going to be some. Uh, extra green stuffing work and uh, matching before the painting in the shoulder pads area. Those are not the perfect fits, but they are quite okay. So yeah, prepare some extra green, green stuff and get you uh, get yourself some nice mines. So now to the blast masters. Yeah, pretty. Pretty neat little destroyer. Those heads are especially good with the skin. Now the Blastmaster with the icon of access. Again mounted on the on the backpack. This is the uh, Demonet kit standard made. Uh, from skin and flesh of some of the victims and there is some white scar helmet um, I'm gonna ramp him and then show you him up close without the standard in the in the camera right now yeah pure goodness and again the ugly noise marina brick pack helmet but overall, really nice miniature. 
And, of course, we also have the nice champion. He was also painted on uh, overall quality. As you can see, some extra highlights here and there. Some scratches on the weapon. I'm sure he's a veteran of a long war, for sure. Some damage on his Doom Siren. And another example of combining older bits with the newer body. I mean, this old helmet is amazing. I'm, I'm pretty stunned that they didn't included more uh, got specific options to the new scarf, but uh, I guess they have their own release plans. So fortunately we're gonna get some new noise marines in the future, so let me um, take them from the table and change the setup. We're gonna get some heavy support in a minute, so see you soon. I have one extra thing for you. I would like to compare those two types of armor here with the similar miniatures. Yeah, as you can see, all the armors are a bit smaller, but they blend together really nicely. So don't be afraid to use your old K Space Marines along the uh, new boys on the block. It's gonna be all, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be okay, especially when you have those old upgrade racing upgrade kits, which are in the same size. So this shouldn't be a problem, really. Yeah, so um, now on to the Havocs. So uh, here are the Havocs, the heavy support. Extra fire team. We have four of them uh, with last cannons and four of them with Reaper chain cannons. So yeah, extra chain cannons must really hurt someone's wallet. <laughs> One advice I can give you regarding painting those things is that you should glue them together uh, before you paint them and this is because the heads and the backpacks and the heavy weapons are really hard to um, glue together after the painting. Those are not the best set in the new update for the case space marines in my opinion, but nonetheless really amazing sculpts. Um, okay, so let me show you maybe this one. Those are painted on champion quality with the Emperor's Children Scheme, extra shape with uh, shoulder pad icons. In this, if you can see the icon of Slanesh, well, clean, pretty, perfect voice. Dream of every Slanesh general, <laughs> if I can say so. Let's get the another one with the chain cannon. Yes. This is just what every KS Space Marine player needs. Set of four Reaper chain cannons. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna show you now some uh, special characters and, uh, and uh, allies uh, in a minute. Just need to get those boys from the table, so see you in a few seconds. Okay, uh, the first pair of uh, Overlord miniatures will be the Aspiring Champions based on the Havoc uh, champion bodies. So let's get the first one. He has the plasma gun and the power sword. She's painted on overlord quality as well. And I must say those green gloves really give in to the beautiful pink armor. Oh yeah, cat's hair. Now it's gone and he's Perfect again. We used some nice marine upgrade pack bits along with the new bodies from the Havocs and the old K Space Marine Slanesh shoulder pad. I think if we get you the another one, this one is far more darker in my, in my opinion, mostly because of this really ugly head from the upgrade pack, but it fits perfectly in the Emperor's Children scheme and fluff and story and all those shenanigans. It's uh, when I'm recording this, it's, it's week after the uh, Fabius vial was released. So I'm hoping we can get him on the table uh, really soon. 
And so let me show you those two guys again together so we can compare those two models. Um, let me see if I can turn them together. Yeah. Really amazing. Okay, now to the another really great special characters. Those will be, yeah, I'm, I'm sure you can, you can already see them. Those will be the special edition Noise Marine. This one is painted on overall quality with the original skin, but his brother is painted in a reverse skin. So the idea was to change the position of a special of certain colors uh, visible on the original skin and the effect is garish, uh, garishly, garishly enough. I think let me compare them for you so you can see how different but how similar they are. I mean those elements are different for those two but I can clearly see them playing in one band. Again some special shape boys shoulder pads here and there. This may be a close-up in a minute. Yes. Pretty great, aren't they? Pure perfection. Uh, as I keep saying for a lot of miniatures in this commission. So let me take a sip of coffee and we're gonna get to the big guns in this commission. Oh, what I'm going to show you right now is the kit I was after for a long time and still haven't found my copy yet. This is the Sonic Dreadnought from the Forge World old kit, not available anymore. As you can see, this one has been converted with the Halbrot Fist, uh, Halbrot Hammer, as you can see. But other than that, oh yeah, and the last cannon. But other than that, this is pretty much the original sculpt Forge World did some time ago. And he also have a little magnetization. So we can swap the last cannon for the double sun blasters. Mm -hmm. I need to get my own. <laughs> but I'm not sure if they will have their own rules in the ninth edition. I hope so. I hope we can see more of those really rare miniatures soon. So he's painted on Overlord level. Check those highlights on the hammer's flesh. So neat, so clean. The gems, cleaning as you follow them with your eyes. And the front, oh. That's one of a hell of a paint job here. I'm sure you can all see the quality for yourself. But this guy, although my favorite, or let's say almost favorite, it's not the main piece. And neither will this next model be. But he's like on the second place for me. And this is the Lord Commander Adolon of the Emperor's Children. Painted and converted. So he's painted in a 40k Emperor's Children scheme, not the original Digital one. And we swapped his uh, archaic uh, Volkite weapon, if I'm correct, for uh, Multi Malta, for Compi Malta, my stories. And just look at this guy, I mean, he, he fits perfectly in those 40k miniatures with all the extra details of his armor. Repainted to show his devotion to Sonesh, and this is probably the best part in this model. It's the freehand. I'm not sure if you can get this right, but this is the old Emperor's Children icon 
um, combined with the Mark of Snow Mesh and it's just perfect for this model. As all of those commanders and um, Primarchs from the Fort World, this model has a magnetized base so we can field him on a, a 32mm base for games and then mount him on his special display base. Let me position him right, uh, which is gonna it's gonna be a moment. Okay, is this the right angle? This may not be the right angle. Yeah, I, I think I should have checked it before I started making this video. But yeah, it's almost there. All right. Yeah, and now we have Amazing, pretty amazing miniature. The first nice marine to ever, ever walk in the 40k universe. But as I said, he's only a lot commander. So now it's time to show you the real centerpiece of this commission. The Phoenician Farming. Primark of the Emperor's Children. Painted an overload quality with some extra love, just for fun and perfection. And he's... Well, he is what he is, <laughs> pure perfection. We're still waiting for the Demon Primer model, but this forward sculpt, my friends, he is just awesome. And let me give you a closer inspection of his face and Hoping we can get it in here. Yes, I think you can see the details visible on this miniature. It's really hard to manage him with the camera setup I have right now, but let me show you the base, which has been blended with snow to match the our friend's Paul existing collection. And again, as with the Aetheron, he's uh, mounted on magnetized base so we, can, so we can actually get him disassembled. Just let me find those pieces that can be disassembled. And it's really hard for the snow. Oh yeah, this one. Okay. Yeah. So I'm sure he will be accompanying his sons on the field of battle, as he should be, as we all wanted him to lead them at the end of the second Fabius Bile novel. Uh, I'm yet to read the third one, but I will soon, I hope. Okay. So let me mount him properly. It's always a little hard to get those bases where they should be. So, well, this has been a hell of a ride with those Empire of Children today. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite models. Well, I should possibly show you the whole commission as it's really hard to pick the favorite, but this is for sure the best miniature in the whole commission for Grim. The reverse scheme 
noise margin is crazy as hell again. So he's he's definitely on the top positions there. Well, the Sonic Dreadnought again, classic. Really hard to find, amazing miniature. Adolon with his crazy freaking work. And if you have this model, you know how small the scape is. Yeah, possibly the aspiring champion. And maybe we'll end here because uh, it's going to be another 20 minutes of me showing you miniatures I already show you, just to say they are my favorite, so <laughs> let me get this guy away. So guys, uh, if you liked today's video, please consider subscribing to our channel if you'd like to know when exactly new videos are live. Check our website castlebrush.eu for more info about us and our services. Uh, we have also several social media channels like Instagram, Facebook, Reddit, where we also publish some of our techniques or tutorials from time to time. And of course, if you'd like to send us something, uh, and then we will paint it for you, of course, as a commission. So don't be a stranger and visit uh, our website and use the contact form there, or just contact us via office at castlebrush.eu. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time, praise the Slanesh.